Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime, which happens every Tuesday at 1030. Can you start off by clapping your hands? Can you clap your hands with me? We're gonna clap our hands together, here we go. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello to all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Good job, now we're gonna stomp our feet. Can you stomp your feet at home too? Here we go. We're gonna raise our knees really, really high to stomp our feet. Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today, we are going to be reading some painting stories. So we're going to use the word painting for our bread and butter rhyme this morning. So for bread and butter, we are going to clap our hands and then put our hands on our knees. Can you do that with me? We're gonna keep a rhythm. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say painting as fast as we can. Painting, 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 painting. Can you say it fast at home? Painting, 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 painting. Huh, not too shabby. How'd you do? Pretty good, I bet. All right, let's do it again. Ready? We'll do another. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say painting as slowly as we can. Painting. Oh, let's try that one more time. Ready? P Got a good P in there. P -p painting. Good job. All right, let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say painting as loudly as we can. Painting. Good job. All right, one more. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say painting as quietly as we can. Painting. Good job. All right, our first painting story is I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. And this is by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by David Cattrall. And if you can see, it is a story about a very naughty baby. Can you see what that very naughty baby is doing? Uh oh. Uh-oh, let's see what happens. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor. Uh-oh. And the ceilings, and the walls, and the curtains, and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. You ready for the holler? Yeah, ain't gonna paint no more. She was upset. Mm -hmm. I would be too. And what happened to baby? Can you see? Baby had to take a very big bath. And look, he even has a, a partner in there. Who else is taking a bath? The doggy's taking a bath too. Yeah, ain't gonna paint no more. There goes mama, putting the paint way, way, way up high where baby can't reach it. But look who's watching. There's baby at the top of the stairs. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. Uh-oh. Look, Baby has stacked a box and a chair and a suitcase and another box and gotten that paint out. Uh-oh, naughty Baby. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. So I take some red and 
paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, uh, what the heck? I'm gonna paint my neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh no, look, poor puppy. Still, I just can't rest until I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm. Hmm, what word rhymes with harm? Some body part. Harm, harm, harm. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. What do you think? Do we believe baby? Is baby all done painting? And look, look what baby painted. Ants. <laughs> but I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Oh, look, the ants are calling in the hand's mouth. Gross. <laughs> now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I get some black and I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, poor doggy. <laughs> like an Easter egg, I'm gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, look, who else is ready for Easter? Puppy. Still, I ain't complete till I paint my, hmm. What body part rhymes with complete? Complete, complete. Something complete, complete, complete. Still I ain't complete till I paint my feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut. I'm gonna paint my... What? Uh-oh. Mama's come back. Is Mama gonna be happy? <laughs> Do you think anyone would be happy? Look at the mess that baby has made. There goes baby, back in the tub, and I bet baby's in big trouble. <laughs> Y'all don't faint, cause there ain't no paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. The end. Are you listening, everyone? That's kind of a fun one. Although, what a naughty baby. Let's sing some painting songs together. You think we can get ready to make a work of art together? We should open up our, our paint can first. Can you open up our paint can? And we're gonna stir it. I think I might even stand. Let's stand to stir. Get a really good stir going on. We're gonna stir together. Here we go. This is the way we stir the paint, stir the paint, stir the paint. This is the way we stir the paint so early in the morning. Good stirring. All right, now let's take the paintbrush and dip it in the paint. Can you do that? This is the way we dip the brush, dip the brush, dip the brush. This is the way we dip the brush so early in the morning. Good job. Now let's get out our piece of paper. Can you get out a piece of paper? We'll make believe our hand is a piece of paper. Here we go, ready? This is the way we paint the paper, paint the paper, paint the paper. This is the way we paint the paper so early in the morning. Good job, it's sopping wet with paint though. Let's hang it dry. Let's get out our clothespins, are you ready? Here's one clothespin and another clothespin. This is the way we hang it dry, hang it dry, hang it dry. This is the way we hang it dry so early in the morning. 
Good job. And now it's all dry. It's ready for us to frame and put up on the wall. Can you frame the picture? This is the way we frame the picture. Frame the picture. Frame the picture. This is the way we frame the picture so early in the morning. Good job, everyone. That was great. All right, let's do a second painting rhyme. This one will have painting and drawing in it. It goes like this. Uh, how does it go? <laughs> oh, I know. The paintbrush on the paper goes swish, 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 swish. The paintbrush on the paper goes swish, swish, swish all day long. Good job painting. Now let's try another thing. Let's paint. Try instead of painting, we can use a crayon. Can you get out a crayon? Here we go. The crayon on the paper goes scribble, 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 scribble. The crayon on the paper goes scribble, scribble, scribble all day long. Let's do one more. Should we do a pencil? Can you get a, your hand on a pencil? Here we go. The pencil on the paper goes scritch, 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 scritch. The pencil on the paper goes scritch, scritch, scritch all day long. Good job, everyone. That was great. And maybe at home you can think of another drawing utensil that could make a different noise. I would love to hear it. Let's see. Let's start our second and last story. This one is called beautiful hands and it is by Catherine Otoshi and it's illustrated by Brett Baumgarten. So let's see if you can see here this person used finger paints to paint with hands and all through the book it used lots of art that's just made with fingers and hands even this one it's the sun, and look, it's made of all kinds of fingers and all kinds of palms sticking out like that. Here we go, let's see. What will your beautiful hands do today? Hmm, what are your hands gonna do today? Are you going to be out in the garden? Or are you gonna draw a picture today? Or maybe you're going to play in the sand? Let's see, what will your beautiful hands do today? Oh, will they plant? If they do, what will they plant? Can you see there's even a little fingerprint, uh, fingerprint, little fingerprint bee right here. There's a little bee, buzz, buzz, buzz. What will you plant? Will you plant ideas? Can you think of some new ideas? When you think of new ideas and you start working on them, that's called planting ideas. Hmm, what could we think of today? Or are your hands going to touch? Are you going to touch things with your hands today? What will they touch? Oh, will you touch hearts? How can we touch hearts? Sometimes we touch someone's heart by saying something very nice. Touching someone's heart doesn't mean literally touching them. You don't have to touch them at all. You could say something very nice to them, tell them that you love them. That's a great way to, to touch someone's heart. And look at this cool page. Do you see this butterfly? It is made all out of hands. Do you see the hand? Hand, 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 hand. Will your hands lift? What will they lift? Will they lift spirits? What's a good way to lift someone's spirits? Sometimes when it's a different time, we might give a hug or a kiss, but we're not doing that as much now. A good way to lift someone's spirits might be even just a wave. Say, hello neighbor with a big wave. That will make someone's day. Oh, will you lift spirits? Or will your hands stretch? Can you stretch your hands? Will your hands stretch? Oh, what will you stretch? 
Can you stretch your, hmm, what are they gonna say? Can you stretch your imagination? The stretching your imagination is when you are thinking of things you've never thought of before, something brand new. And I certainly had never thought of this before. It's a dragon, but it's made all out of fingers and hands. Can you see that? That is pretty cool. Even the fire breath is made out of little fingerprints. Will you reach? What will you reach? Maybe you'll reach up on a jungle gym. Will you reach up doing, uh, doing some yoga, doing some big yoga reaches? Will you reach for love? Will you do something that's full of love today? Let's see. Or will you reach for peace, for trust, faith? hope and dreams. There's so many things you can do today. What will your beautiful hands do today? What are you going to do? And what will they do tomorrow? Look at all those hands. Oh, that's a lot of hands. Can you think of what wonderful things you could do today? And think of all these things, they're all very small things that make up a wonderful life. You could garden, you could wave to someone, you could think of some art, think of a new idea. There's lots of things that we can do. The end. Great listening, everyone. Let's end the day. Oh, you know what? Before we do head, shoulders, knees, and toes, I actually wanted to show you the first couple pages of this board book. This is a new board book that we have. It is called ABC Colors, illustration by Inga P. Arhenius. Arhenius. And this book is full of really cool colors. So instead of just red and yellow and green and blue, we get to learn some cool colors in this one, like the color apricot and the color burgundy. So if anyone is thinking of expanding the, their vocabulary on some very cool color words, this is a good book to check out. I'm just gonna read one more page for you. Look, this is the color chartreuse. Isn't that a cool word? Can you say that word? Chartreuse, it's a fun one. And this is the color daffodil. What cool words. And this book is full of a whole alphabet's worth of cool new colors to learn. So we are going to end our story time with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? Here we go. Can you find your head with me? Good job. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, everyone. Can we do it faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, everyone. Nice seeing you. And I can't wait to see you all next week. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. 